I'm excited to introduce Jenny, and she is the visionary founder of Starseed Awakening. She's a leading psychic teacher, master channel, and spiritual business mentor. She established Starseed Academy in 2019. Jenny has cultivated a thriving soul empire, empowering awakening souls and spiritual entrepreneurs to align with their divine missions. Her innovative programs like Psychic Light and Starseed Weaver of Light have helped countless individuals. With her emphasis on clean and ethical channeling and a passion for creating a new earth paradigm, Jenny is a beacon of light for those navigating their spiritual awakening and transformation. Welcome, Jenny, and the Starseed Academy. Hello, Ashley. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are excited to hear from you today. Beautiful. It's so good to be here. I'm excited to jump in. Okay, so I want to start with um, speaking directly to all of the star seeds in the audience right now. Okay, so I want to speak to you directly because you are being so activated by this 11 day event, right? You're feeling all the activations and you're getting all this incredible information and all these presenters, and it's like, whoa, right? But after that, what happens? Because I had, like, as I tuned into what to present here today, I had this feeling that many star seeds, though activated by this 11 days, are going to actually leave this place feeling a little overwhelmed, leave the summit feeling a little overwhelmed, feeling a little lost, kind of like, okay, that was such incredible information, but now what? Like, practically, in my life, what do I actually do now? And regular life will just kick back in and you feel pulled back into the matrix, right? And then nothing changes. So I want to talk to that star seed right now. Maybe the one who's experiencing a spiritual awakening and has this really strong urgency and feeling that they have a mission for being here, but they don't know what steps to take. They don't know how to move into that right? You, the starseed who feels so out of place here on earth, like no one in your real life speaks your language, right? I know what that feels like. Feeling lonely, that's a starseed loneliness coming out. Feeling alone, feeling awkward AF in your human body and looking around at earth and the rest of the humanity, like what the actual is going on with these people feeling completely out of place in that way. I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you who's having a spiritual awakening and it feels more like a remembering, right? I want to speak to the star seed that feels or knows that there is so much more to their gifts, but you're having trouble accessing them. You're having trouble interpreting what your own gifts are. You've probably had psychic sensations breaking through the surface of your life. What does that look like? Chills, flashes of visions, hearing words and sounds when no one is in the room with you, visits from spirit, reading other people, lucid dreaming and all of this other psychic phenomena, metaphysical phenomena, you know that you have a purpose for being here on earth, but you aren't clear on the details of your mission. And so it's hard to take in all of this and like direct it in a personal way. You know, all this incredible activations that we've experienced over this 11 day summit. It's like, what now? What do I do now? You really crave the clarity of why you are here. Why? Why are you even on earth? What's your purpose? How do soul gifts play into that? Do you have soul gifts? Because you have this energy building inside of you and you're ready to release it on the world. So it's time to get laser focused on what your spiritual specialization is so you can finally get going. So first, let me say, the very first thing that I want to say is actually congratulations. Okay. Congratulations for getting here which is earth, because to get here was already a lot of work. You had to descend down through lifetimes on a descension path, not an ascension path, to this advanced level of earth. And the level settings on earth are stuck on master. It's not for the faint of heart. So it took a lot to get here, which goes to show even more, you had a very important reason and mission for doing all of this to get here to this moment. 
okay? And I also want to congratulate you on the fact that this is big. So listen up. You just woke up in a system built to keep you asleep. What? That's crazy. But it's true about the matrix. And you know that it's true about the matrix. Yet here you are, little soul, already awakening into who you really are right? Because no one born here on earth escapes the veil of forgetting. So it happened to you too. And no one here on earth escapes the 3D programmings like the nine to five program built to keep you asleep. The educational system that they put us through built to keep you asleep, built to keep you distracted. And yet here you are, you woke up in a system built to keep you asleep. That is worth a little like pat on the back for you. I think that's amazing. And I want you to understand that you're already winning in a lot of ways. Okay. Now, um, you do have a starseed mission and it actually helped you wake up, right? So your starseed mission, when it becomes activated, it activates in this really interesting feeling of urgency like this. I felt it in my, my solar plexus right at the top of my stomach a lot. And you might be feeling it there. It's a common place, but you might feel it in other areas of your body as well. It's a sense of urgency that you are here for a reason. You are here to do something right now. You can actually be activated into your starseed mission urgency before you even experience a true spiritual awakening. And I want to tell you that that happened to me as a kid. OK, just like hear this. So I was this child walking around feeling this unbelievable sense of urgency that I was supposed to be doing something. And I even used the word mission. I remember like saying to the adults in my life, like, I'm here for a mission, like, I have a purpose. I'm here to help in some way. But if, if like, if I could only remember what that was and how frustrating is that, and it can create anxiety. And then that feeling can follow you throughout your life. You know, you're here to do something. You have this great mission. What is it? What is it? What is it? Right. My particular mission. What is yours? Because we all have an individual starseed mission. There's a collective, but there's also yours that's personal to you and personal to the gifts that you brought here. So I want to let you know that um, my, my mission, okay, I figured it out. Let me tell you what it is. <laughs> my, so my mission as Jenny and creating Starseed Academy, you know, I'm playing the character of Jenny. I've created Starseed Academy. The mission is to get Starseeds on their mission, right? That's it. Helping star seeds step into their highest timeline, step into their path where they are discovering their gifts, mastering their gifts, using their gifts and 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 walking confidently to do their soul work and the reason that they're here. So that is my mission. So let me share with you the four steps that you can take to walk your mission. Because let me just say this too. Your highest timeline is not like some fantasy world. Your highest timeline is real, okay? And it's just a couple of choices away. It's right there. And your highest timeline isn't some end destination. It's like an escalator. You get on it and you'll just keep going. It doesn't have a, a, a glass ceiling on it. But, but to get onto that highest timeline feeling where all the love and the joy and the fulfillment and the abundance and the freedom, you need to align. If you're a starseed, you need to align to your starseed mission. OK, so let's talk about the four steps to that mission. All right. So um, the first thing here is that the step one is to discover your soul gifts. OK, you need to discover what your soul gifts are because they are the key to your mission. Now, soul gifts are cultivated in other starseed lifetimes in the higher dimensions before you descended down here to earth okay and then they're carried with you in your soul that's why it's called a soul gift they're carried with you in your soul as this beautiful potential this beautiful mastery that you have over something and a lot of people have more than one soul gift as well you carry it with you here to earth and you're supposed to be using that towards your starseed mission like you use that um, on your mission as a tool okay and Another very interesting thing about soul gifts is that they are a part of your star nations alliance. If you've never heard that term before, it is the coolest thing ever. Your star nations alliance is the star nation, like the star seed, you know, community or being or culture, the nation that you are here to represent. 
You are here to be an ambassador of them and their frequency. You are here to anchor that into earth. So a lot of people are maybe Pleiadian ambassadors or Mantis or Lyran. And we've got people that are ambassadors from old golden eras on earth, like Lemuria and Atlantis. And there's just, and there's some people too, that it's not just one thing, right? You know, we're very multidimensional and you could have this very hybrid star seed, star nations alliance, where you're working with the Andromedans and the Pleiadians, or you're working with the, um, the Arcturians and the Greys. So your star nations alliance is, is right in line with what your, your star seed mission is right? It's, it's what you're here to bring forward. And your soul gifts are the action that you take to make that happen. Okay. So I want to let you know, again, if you're feeling like, whoa, watching all these presenters the way that I have been feeling like, holy cow, like these people are magic AF. They're so powerful. I want to let you know that you are too. Like you are more than enough. You have enough power, enough intuition, enough creative skill. You are just as magic and just as powerful as the presenters that you've seen so far and that you will continue to see in this 11 days. OK, you are absolutely just as powerful as they are. It's just getting activated. It's just getting, you know, getting aligned to the mission and taking the steps. And you will start to experience these crazy kinds of stories and experiences and knowledge as well. OK, so that was step one. Discover your soul gifts. I'm going to talk to you about how to do that in just one second. But first, I want to reveal step two to your starseed mission, which is master your gifts. So we're going to discover and then we're going to master our gifts. We want to master our gifts to a level of unshakable confidence because that's going to be needed for step three. We're going to get there. But let me just tell you how. OK, the most powerful and quickest way, because let me just be honest, starseeds aren't known for patience at all. So we're always like, how do I do it fast? So the fastest, but also the most powerful way that I have seen my students discover and then master their gifts is through the language of the clairs. All right. So what is that? Right. So the clairs are clairvoyance. So clairvoyance is in the third eye. It's the ability to see beyond your own world. Clairvoyance, clairaudience. They're in their ear chakras above the physical ears. No one talks about ear chakras, but they're there. They're like this burgundy maroon color just above your physical ears. It's the ability to hear beyond your own world. Right. Be into other dimensions. Clairsentience is the ability to feel energy. You, you, you feel people's emotions. You feel the energy of a location. You feel the energy of a website. You can feel, tangibly feel the frequency of things, okay? And the quality of things. And then the last one is claircognizance, which is the crown chakra. And it's the clear knowing, which is the downloads and the information and that pure connection to the higher dimensions or God source and where you receive your information from. So hear, feel, see, and know. Those are the clairs. Okay. So these clairs are the foundation of every single spiritual and psychic gift. Okay. Every single gift has the clairs at the foundation. So if you master the clairs, you set yourself up to be a master of, of like all psychic energy, basically, and all spiritual energy. Now, of course, not all gifts are going to be for you. You're going to have your lane that you want to play in. But I'm just saying like someone that is a channeler, they're using the clairs, right? And really good professional channelers layer the clairs all on top of each other. Someone that does um, written channeling, spoken channeling, trans channeling, it's all the clairs. Someone that is doing light language, that is the clairs. That's a lot of clairsentience and a lot of claircognizance. Someone that is doing, I don't know, like Akashic Records, reading Akashic Records. You could not do that without the clairs. How else would you see, feel, hear, and know what the records even have to share with you, right? So Akashic Records, astral travel. If you travel off to some other dimension, you better know what's around you. You need the clairs. They are like telephone lines. They are the communication with other dimensional realms. Higher hopefully. But if, you know, you're somebody that's meant to do a lot of shadow work, soul retrievals, you might go into some lower dimensions for your clients and it will serve you there too. So the clairs, the clairs, the clairs, master the clairs. It's the beginning of everything. Okay. So because it's the beginning of everything, I kind of want to share some very amazing real life examples of my students and how they have discovered and then mastered their soul gifts. Because if you can get an idea of what some starseed gifts 
look like, it's really going to be inspiring for you. Okay. Because also starseed gifts are emerging right now on this planet at an accelerated rate. You know, everything is accelerating. Solar flares, Schumann spikes, here we come. Ascension symptoms, the purge, the number one ascension symptom, you're probably purging. Personally, we sure are collectively and a lot of people in the summit are talking about that. Um, but all of these gifts are emerging at an accelerated rate. So let me share some examples of what could be a soul gift for you. But you just don't know if we don't do the work, right? All right, so I had a student come to me and she was, an unactivated because she didn't know yet galactic diviner so a galactic diviner is um so okay let me tell you about her past life that's going to help this student had a lyran lifetime as a feline being okay female feline being and when this feline being in our session came forward she came forward with the most powerful witchy energy which i never really put to Lyra, but it was, it was the witchiest energy I've ever experienced in like such a powerful and cool way. She came through with these blazing green eyes, this, this incredible lioness that came forward. And in that lifetime, this, this was my client. It's a version of her that she's seeing, right? She practiced divination using the ancestral realms and then some sacred spiritual tools. She was able to do this work. So the clairs, right? How does that fit in? Through clairvoyance as a Lyran being, because the clairs are for all dimensions. It's not just for humans, all right? Through clairvoyance as this Lyran lioness, she saw people's active timeline options, like in front of them as possible roads that they could take. She could see the one that they were on, and then she could see the other options for timelines, okay? That is such a powerful gift. And here's why. Because if your client or if her client is on a timeline that ends up in a result that she doesn't like the feeling of, right? Well, then we have all the power to shift that because you shift timelines by making new choices. So it's a very empowering thing too. It's not just like, oh, let me read your timelines for you. And I guess that's too bad for you. No, it's like, if you don't like the way that things are looking, make a new choice. And we'll get you onto a new timeline. That's a diviner. That is so, can you imagine if you went to somebody now? I mean, you can, because my students are this powerful. Okay. So she had this other thing too, where she was working with the ancestral realm. I said that earlier. So she used claircognizance. So she was really channeling guidance from her clients' ancestral realms about their actions and choices. So basically their ancestors can chime in and be like, don't do that. You know how like a like a really blunt grandmother be like, don't do that. You need to, you know, don't be with that boy, you know, be with this one or whatever. Um, there was just like lots of things that the ancestors want to chime in about, like a grandmother or a grandfather that thinks that they know best for you, but a lot of the time that they do. And so this combination of gifts, this clairvoyantly being able to see these timeline options, this claircognizant to connect with the ancestral realm and receive the information, the guidance, and 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 the new information about what new choices to make so that was this galactic diviner so i'll move on to the next um example here so the next next example is a weaver of creation codes so this student had an andromedan life and so she was here and this is what she did in her past life and she's here to do it now and your soul gifts can translate and in, in a way that you can do it on earth okay but in this andromedan lifetime she would weave light and creation matter so actual light and actual like creation matter she used a lot of like hand motions and she would weave this light and creation matter into people a lot of the time i saw it going into the solar plexus and she was reprogramming them right so a lot of people right now on earth are programmed or coded with the binary 3d code you know zero one zero one zeros into um into the 3d limiting programs and so what this client was able to do then is to strip that out and to replace it with their hidden multi-dimensional potential each client already was carrying the seeds of that. And then she would use clairsentience, the ability to feel energy, clairvoyance, the ability to see energy to complete the energetic removals of that simplistic binary code. And that's forced into people from the inorganic matrix programming. So she's removing that. And then she's restoring their own hidden potential, their multidimensional gifts, their highest timeline connections. So that was the weaver of creation code. So see how intricate these beautiful soul gifts are. The last one that I'm going to share is a medical medium. So, I mean, you've probably heard of that. And it is like so beautiful to see someone 
like actually step into this gift. It was, it was really inspiring for me to work with her. So once she, this was a student as well, once she learned to feel the quality and the frequency of energy with clear sentience, clear sentience is like, um, if you're an energy healer, it's like your best friend. It's so powerful. So she was using clear sentience to feel in her clients, the quality of the frequency in their body. And she would scan them and their physical organs. How cool is that? To see where the distorted energy was. And when she learned how to see with her clairvoyance, she could see the story behind it. Like where was, what was the origination of the distortion? When did it happen? Where did it come from? Is this ancestral patterns being handed down like generational trauma and programming? Or is this a past life wound, witch wound? Or is this an early like childhood thing? Like what, where did this distortion come from? Why is this person creating this in their own body, right? And then through listening to spirit with clear audience, she was very connected to the grays and she was very connected to um, just like Arcturians and very galactic energy. She began to hear from these galactic guides how best to help each client, receiving messages for them, but also hearing from like a gray being that was on her client's spirit team, like for her highest good, saying, no, put your hands here. No, go over here. No, go deeper. No, look again, like guiding her actual healing practice like that she was doing so like every session would be completely different and unique because you're being guided by galactic beings so just so powerful not only would she locate this harmful energy and remove it but she would actually retune the frequency of that organ back to its original harmony so think like spleen and kidneys and all these different organs your heart and she would stop these lower energies from anchoring into the physical because everything starts as energy first, cancer, all the really big illnesses, everything, everything starts in our energy realms and our astral fields, energy fields. And then it slowly makes its way down into the physical if we let it like stay long enough, be consistent long enough. And so she could catch things like cancer before the energy anchored in or before it even took over by finding the distortion first, right? So how powerful is that? Okay, so that's just some examples. And so that was step one and two, discover your soul gifts, master your soul gifts. Now, remember I said, you need to master these gifts to a point of unshakable confidence, right? You need to really believe in this, practice, connect to this, you know, work with your guides, work with your higher self, work with all of this. Here's the reason why, because step three, step three for the Starseed mission is to use your gifts in service right? Oh, now you have to come out of the spiritual closet. Now you have to come out of the psychic closet. Now you have to come out of the starseed closet, but it's time for you to come out of those closets and to stop dimming your light and stop hiding, right? Now you come out of that and you start offering your gifts in service because the frequency of service, that's it, man. That is like so activating, so amplifying. When you use your gifts in service, your gifts will grow. They will grow, they will get stronger, they will get more layered, they will evolve. It's so powerful. And like anytime I feel like I lose my way at all, you know, in business, like if anyone's listening as an entrepreneur, it's a tangled web. If you ever feel like you're losing your way as you make your way through your starseed mission, come back to service. When I come back to focus on service, that always sets me right again. So service, service, service. Okay. So think about how you can, okay, so let me share uh, the ways that I was at service and that I've seen a lot of people um, use their gifts and service that aren't too scary. Okay. Like let's, I know when we're at the beginning, it's terrifying, right? The first thing is what if you just started a YouTube channel or what if you started a podcast and you started sharing about your own experience. Okay, I am a star seed. Here's what that means. Or I'm going through a spiritual awakening. Look, look what that looks like. Or I had a dark night of the soul. I battled addiction. I battled religious trauma. I battled da, 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 enough about me. Um, all of these things that you've battled and gone through, when you share openly, rawly, vul like vulnerably, authentically online in that spirit of service, I'm sharing this to help someone. Oh my God, the universe conspires in your favor. The universe just comes in and sets you right up. Oh, here's another opportunity. Oh, here's another sign. You're seeing the 1111s. All the feathers are dropping from the sky. There's a coin. Like music is playing. It's you're in the flow. 
focus on service. Okay. That's step three. So you could start a YouTube channel, a podcast, long form content, just a little business tip, long form content builds community. And that's what you want, right? Um, so long form content, then something great that I did and that you could consider doing, and I've seen a lot of successful people do as well, is take that community and put them into a membership right? Start a membership. It can be free. It can be low ticket, whatever. It gets you used to being in front of people. That's not just like a recording now, like YouTube, but live, a live group, right? Maybe you start doing Q and A's, or if you're a healer, you can do group healings. If you're a channeler, you can do group readings. Maybe you can teach on things. Maybe you can, you know, do, do community chats and conversations about what's going on. So membership, and then that leads you into offering single sessions. Okay. So single sessions are going to be um, so powerful for your soul gifts to be activated and come alive. Okay, so single sessions with your with your your community becomes your clients. That's why we build community. Okay, let's move on to step number four. Okay, so step three was use your gifts and service. Step four is um, build your soul empire. This is so powerful and so important. Okay, your soul empire is like your spiritual empire. OK, this is where now you elevate your mentorship or your sorry, you elevate your single sessions that you just did. You know, you're doing your long form content. You start your YouTube channel, your podcast, you get a membership, get some single sessions, elevate that to build your soul empire into mentorship, group containers, courses, workshops. You are now a living, breathing example of a new earth leader. OK, someone that doesn't rely on the 3D programs for their abundance and freedom and th to thrive. And they use their gifts to support their livelihood. That's what a new earth leader looks like, right? So uh, how much time do I have left? I think I'm getting close. Okay, so if I have activated you in this, perked up your spirit, okay, then that's a soul nudge. So I want you to come and find me on Instagram because I think my time is almost up here. I want you to come find me on Instagram, Starseed Academy. Look for the little blue check because there are so many um, scammers. And so look for the blue check. Come find me on Instagram. And when you do, if you are ready to leap into your highest timeline where you're actually doing your soul work that we spoke of and you really want to get specific on, OK, what are my soul gifts? I'm ready to come out of that closet. I'm ready to discover them. I'm ready to master them. I'm ready to, to build my empire. Then you are ready for psychic light. OK, so that's my signature program, Psychic Light. And over the course of 16 weeks together, um, you will become a certified master channeler, able to communicate with detailed accuracy. I have my own framework that I teach called clean and ethical channeling. It removes the ego. It makes sure it's super pure. and It's very safe. And it's the most detailed version of channeling as well. So you'll be learning how to channel and communicate with higher dimensional beings, spirit guides, angels, ascended masters, galactic councils, ancestors, the Akashic realm. And I'm also going to teach you to speak light language and soul language. Soul language is like light language on steroids. So if you feel heart led to the ancient practice of channeling, okay, you just feel it. You just feel so driven to, to work in that way with the collective and with your clients and you desire a deeper connection to your own guides where you can speak to them freely communicate with spirit freely and hear their responses like clearly accurately and with ease if you are an awakened starseed ready to master your gifts and to step into your earth mission and to start using your gifts and service like we said if you are already a leader of light that has maybe started offering services, but you're ready to build a premium spiritual business aligned with your soul gifts that sets you as apart as this expert in your field and creates your timeline, highest timeline of freedom and abundance and all that, then you are ready for psychic light. In fact, you're being called into psychic light. And if that feels a little overwhelming, um, and you're kind of like, Ooh, I haven't even come out of the spiritual closet yet. I just want to dip a toe in this energy. You can dip a toe with my free psychic foundations training. So I have a free training called psychic foundations as a gift to everybody watching this that wants to come on over into Instagram, DM me. Um, you can just DM me psychic foundations or just, you know, feel free to just chat with me. I'm, I won't bite. Come on in. I will be happy to send that to you as well. But whatever you choose, please come out of the spiritual closet, okay? It's time. We need to start speaking on the stuff that we're experiencing behind closed doors, all right? All of those crazy experiences that you've been having, um, metaphysical experiences, you know, like I said at the beginning, gifts trying to like already poke through the surface of your reality. Start speaking on that. Start sharing that. Um, get out of the psychic closet and the starseed closet. It's time to stop hiding 
2025 is going to be the year of the starseed channeler. Okay. So, and before you go, before I go, you're not going anywhere before I go, I want you to not forget to donate to Portal to Ascension because wow, like this has been the most powerful and it's not even over yet. The kinds of things that I have witnessed here, the activations, the information, the presenters, these are all new earth leaders. Okay. So do not forget to donate to Portal to Ascension because the amount of work that would go into this is so much and you don't see all of that happening behind the scenes but it's so much and this is a gift to the collective right the awakening of humanity so don't forget that um so i want to thank you all again thank you so much and um i look forward to the next presenter <laughs> i think that was awesome and you're already inspiring people in the chat to start their own youtube channel and come out of that spiritual closet and thank you also for the encouragement for the viewers to help support the portal to ascension foundation and team. We really appreciate you coming on and sharing your gifts with us. Of course. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.